the auto leveling laser, equipped with an assortment of accessories. Everything feels a bit meh. But hey, we are on a budget safari here. First of all, we have a small lift, which I'm not sure if it's even useful for anything. Then, a compact tripod. Seemingly more practical than the lift, at least it has a spot for the laser. Next, red screw. A riddle that remains unsolved till this day. And there is more. Two batteries with a charger that connects directly to the battery, so you can use the laser just with a power cable as well. Then we have a magnetic bracket, probably useful for drywall constructors. A Petite remote control for those days when you are feeling extra lazy and need to switch laser functions without purging. And finally the star of the show, the laser level itself. Or level laser or auto leveling laser? Rotary laser? Now on to the testing phase. Initially it seemed like only the vertical line was playing by the rules leaving the horizontal line a bit of a rebel. Panic set in briefly, until I decided to play detective and tested a second water level. Plot twist. The first water level was the culprit, not the laser. 